Hey guys, Tamisha here with Toolbox Divas and today I'm going to show you how to totally change your old fireplace with this rustic beam mantle. So I'm starting with my boards already pre-cut. I went ahead and cut them using the table saw. So I'm using one 1x12 and two 1x8 pieces to make this mantle. Using the table saw, I cut three of the sides at a 45 degree angle so that I could attach the board seamlessly to create the illusion of one beam. The complete measurements for the boards will be located on my website and the link is listed below in the description column. But I'm using glue and my uh, brad nailer to attach the boards together. Then using my Craig multi-purpose layout tool, I'm, I'm ensuring that all of the sides are square. So for this project, I'm trying something a little different. I'm gonna apply wood filler tinted with the wood dye that I'm using to stain the mantle. And remember when using uh, the wood filler of this sort, you want to wear a respirator and you want to be in a heavily ventilated area. So in an effort to make this as old and rugged as possible, I'm applying wood filler everywhere and beating it up with a hammer. And I really don't know what I'm doing exactly at this point, but I figure I can't go wrong. It'll all make it look old. Then using a coarse sandpaper, I went to town. I started with my oscillating sander and then I moved to my belt sander so that I could create dents in the corners and uh, on the edges. And to create more detail and depth, I used a Dremel with a sanding bit and I used a chisel to create dents and dings and went at it with uh, any sharp object that I could find around the garage. Then I sanded it all down until it was smooth. I then wiped off any excess dust and applied water to raise the grain before applying some wood dye. So the process of actually finishing this mantle is really up to a personal preference. I went after it several times, coating it with dye, sanding it down, reapplying dye, and then using different shades of brown acrylic paint, went into the crevices and corners and then sanded that down and applied more dye. So this is all up to what you would like to see, how you would like to see it, and how old and aged you'd like to see it. So for the bottom of the mantle, I used a scrap piece of plywood that left a four inch gap from the back of the mantle. This is to account for the four inch depth of the brick that sticks out from the wall. Next, using two by fours, I cut out stacks of wood that would create the bricked corbels for the base of the mantle. And I attached using wood glue. And you can use wood glue and use a clamp and allow it to set for 24 hours. However, I realized after doing the first one that I can just apply wood glue and then use a brad nailer and yeah, it goes a lot faster. Next, I marked the placement of each corbel. Each corbel will be placed 10 inches from each side. And I found that it was easier to attach the corbel to the bottom of the mantle before, before screwing the bottom onto the actual mantle beam. And I attached the corbels to the underside of the mantle using some spack screws. I love spack screws because it doesn't require any pre-drilling. I use three inch spack screws to drill into the corbels. And with the corbels attached to the bottom board for the mantle, I used pocket screws to attach the bottom board to the mantle. And you can see better where I left room for the spacing of the brick. This will be a floating shelf mantle. And to do this, I am using two by four boards to create a beam under the shelf. So with the mantle built, it's time for the easy part, installation. This mantle is for the home of my neighbor and she went ahead and painted the mantle white. This is the four inch depth that I was saying that the brick is from the wall. We are starting by pre-drilling the holes in the wood support beam so that it can attach to the brick mantle. We're using Bosch Daredevil multi-purpose drill bits because they work great on wood and on concrete. And we went ahead and pre-drilled the holes into the brick as well. And we'd fitted the screws 
into the wood before we went ahead and attached it to the brick. We're using Tapcon concrete anchors to attach the support beam to the brick mantle. We made sure everything was level and it, then it was time to attach the actual mantle to the support beams. Using three spac screws, we screwed the mantle into the two by four and everything was done. So thank you guys for sticking around to the end. This was a really great project to work on with my neighbor. And this was our first time using power tools. So it was a really fun experience all around. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. And don't be shy, follow us on social media at Toolbox Divas on Instagram and Facebook. All right guys, till next time.